Welcome, folks, to today's episode of Battletech Simplified Season 3. I'm Michael Shockman, I'll be your host and commentator, and in today's episode we will be covering the clan that is most well known by many, but is not heavily uh, known to be anything other than a warrior cast that also dips their toes into other things. Today we'll be covering Clan Jade Falcon. Staunch traditionalists and aggressive fighters, the Jade Falcons were central in the creation of the Crusader philosophy and considered Clan Wolf their enemy. Despite their martial might, uh, their martial their their martial might makes right mindset, the clan treated their civilian caste well, though with a firm hand, and their mercantile efforts were second only to the Diamond Sharks, leading to an above-average standard of living. The Jade Falcon Clan was one of the four original participants in the in the Inner Sphere invasion and confronted the Federated Commonwealth. Abjured from the home worlds, uh, uh, abjured from the home worlds, they moved into their occupation zones in the Inner Sphere. In 3151, they would participate in the Ill Clan trial, only to lose in the process. Following their defeat. Alaric Ward dedicate or dictated that the clan should now find inspiration in the Black in the Black Watch, serving as an elite force and honor guard for the First Lord. With most of the Jade Falcon Toman uh, having left for Terra, their occupation zone splintered into a region known as the Hinterlands. One of the emergent uh, powers in the region centered on Sol uh, Sudeten would keep the clan Jade Falcon uh, mantle, resulting in two Jade Falcon cons, one on Terra and one on Sudeten by 3152. As for the uh, um, the profile, the psychological and military profile of the Jade Falcons, ladies and gentlemen, I would definitely have to say that Jade Falcon are kind of like the most okayest of boys <laughs> or girls. Uh, they they're they're very traditional in their ways. They're extremely powerful and and vicious. Maybe not so much as as Clan uh, Smoke Jaguar, but they're still really really intense. Um, they're also kind of they're all they also have great economic power they've got great they're they're the literally the most okay mech the most okay clan you can find uh they've got great mercantile stuff they've got great uh great civilian life um they're just they're just pretty awesome uh except that they're bastards <laughs> enough said um as for a mech that is known for Jade by Jade Falcon, um, I would definitely have to say that the uh, the um, the uh, what do you call it the uh, Hunchback Mark II or IAC, I believe is one of them. Uh, they were specifically known for being uh, mechs that were given uh, by Jade Falcon to people who were in disgrace to try and go and die gloriously because they were severely underarmed. They basically had tissue paper for armor, but they were well armed with like two auto cannon twenties and a bunch of other weapons. So they would basically run into combat, destroy as many people as possible, and then get blown to smithereens by op overwhelming opposition. Uh so yeah. That's kind of a thing. Um, and as for my personal feelings on Clan Jade Falcon, ladies and gentlemen, I do have to say, I face them in combat. They're bat. They are. They are tough to fight against. Um, I would. I do not. I am lucky that it's just in a game because if I had to cross them in real life, I'd be fucked. Anyway, folks. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode, folks. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to comment down below with what your what your thoughts on Clan Jade Falcon are. Do you think that they're uh, generally good generalists, or do you think that they are uh, practically useless uh, pragmatists? Let me know down below. 
yeah guys um thank you so much for joining me hope you enjoyed uh stay tuned for the outro if you want to find out how you can best uh support my work i would really appreciate any any uh support you can give i do want to give a quick shout out to uh all of the people who have been giving us likes shares and views i really appreciate it uh, i'm michael shockman folks i've been your host and commentator and until next time remember as always no guts no galaxy thank you so much for joining me on this adventure folks i hope you enjoyed if you did please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel also, be sure to ring the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Lastly, if you liked my work and you want to help support my channels, you can now do so on Patreon, where for as little as $4 a month, you get access to a load of cool content and much more. Thanks so much, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Michael Shockman, and until next time, remember, keep it real, keep it safe, keep it healthy, and we will see you guys again soon in the next one. Peace off, everybody.